is up everybody it is cj plays here and i'm back with another sims 3 speed build today we're gonna be building a classic log cabin and i love how this turned out i actually messed around with constrained floor elevation that's how i got the deck to connect to the to the house and um i'm having some issues with that because i'm trying to learn how to use it better um because i'm kind of familiar with it but i don't know how to like do everything just yet and um yeah i spent a lot of today just trying to figure out how to do it um <laughs> but um yeah this is a two bedroom house it has two and a half well one and a half bathrooms um and it's just really old and classic it's, it's kind of rustic it just gives me 70s vibes like I, this house had to have been built in the 70s i mean you'll see it when we get a little bit into the video it's just the wallpaper <laughs> the wallpaper the wood paneling the wood floors like wood is like almost half of the house <laughs> like half of the house is just made out of wood okay um but i really like how it turned out i love this back deck that i did that leads out to the like lake or ocean i think that's a lake i don't know i am building this uh house in uh hailwood which is a custom world i love how i just i love it like it has that like never ending fall aesthetic and i just love it i will leave a link down below if you want to download the world it is 100 percent empty so it doesn't have any sims or uh builds in it um and it's kind of small at least the version that i downloaded was small i think there is another version that has like a little bit more um like lots or whatever but i just downloaded the regular one so yeah but this log cabin is just perfect for this world i just <sighs> I've been feeling fall vibes lately. Like, I feel like I said it a lot in my videos lately. But, like, I've just been feeling fall vibes. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but, um, as you as you saw, um, I kind of built basically upstairs around the, the stairs from downstairs. Because usually, like, I'll just do, like, I'll just make a bunch of walls. And I try to fit it around, like, stairs. Like, that's how I do it in The Sims 4. But in The Sims 3, I was like, you know what? I'll do something different. I'll actually base the entire floor plan around, this, like, the U-shaped stairs. And it worked out perfectly. Um, I cut out a lot of me doing, like, the exterior and trying to figure out, like, what wallpaper I wanted to use for, like, the outside of the house. And, like, I knew it was a log cabin. I just didn't know, like, what I wanted it to look like and how I wanted to mess around with, um, you know, actually, like, painting the house. So, <laughs> I cut all of that out. Um... As you'll see, some things did change. The roof changes. Uh, I like I like the little effect that I have. It's like a little balcony. It's like an inaccessible balcony um, with some railings. And it just, it looks nice. Like, I didn't expect it to look that way. And I'm just here for it. <laughs> like, it gives me that, it gives me, like, this house gives me um summer camp vibes. And then it also gives me, like, families, like, log cabin like the log cabin that you will go to like maybe like twice a year in the summer or winter or something that like that's just the vibes i get from this place um i yeah <laughs> so the idea with the like interior was just to make it look as old as possible and as outdated as possible and luckily for the sims 3 the sims 3 has a lot of like retro looking wallpapers and furniture um so i went crazy it took me hours to finish this build and i like i loved every bit of it don't get me wrong um and it just it took me so long i changed things around a lot um i'm just so indecisive and there's so many items especially in the catalog it's kind of a little bit difficult to navigate the catalog in the sims 3 as opposed to the sims 4 because in the sims 4 you actually can get the ability to the ability to search for like specific items in the sims 3 you just have to keep scrolling and just kind of have to figure out what category it's in <laughs> um so it took me a while to like go through all the categories and then of course we have the color wheel in the sims 3 which i get carried away with because the possibilities are literally just endless with the color wheel like you could change it's just it was revolutionary okay i hope we get it i hope we get it back you know if not in the sims 4 maybe to sims 5 or something like can we get it back please <laughs> um but yeah um downstairs that was just like the little like entrance area foyer foyer is that a foyer maybe interest i don't know but i kind of wanted to put that that bear statue um that came with like the three lakes set or it came with one of the sets in the simply store the classic set i think that's what it's called killer i think it's K killer classics yeah so i wanted to use that um this is the kitchen i wanted the kitchen to look very outdated that wallpaper i wanted that wallpaper to be in the kids room but i was like you know what I'm, it's giving me kitchen vibes all of a sudden so that's what i <laughs> that's what i chose i chose a really really outdated wallpaper um and I then I used the uh, kitchen set. It's like the mid-century kitchen set or whatever from the store. I ended up using that in this build. 
And I didn't know how I wanted to do the kitchen. So the kitchen was actually the reason why the house has an extra bump out in the back. Because originally the house was just kind of flat in the back. Um, but, the, in, but in doing so, the kitchen would have been like extremely narrow and not and just... It's functional, but it just wouldn't look right to me. So I ended up just going back and added a little bit, a little bit of a bump out. And I also added like the three windows and the chair. So it looks a little bit more... Um, I don't know, I think it just looks better. I was going to say realistic, but I think it looks better this way. Um, and then I also used, like, the light fixtures that came with Supernatural. Side note, Centr Supernatural has some of the best items, especially for the windows. Like, I use the Supernatural windows all the time. Those windows are just great. I love them to death. <laughs> and um, I ended up using, like, some of the light fixtures that came with that pack in the kitchen. Um, I ended up changing a lot of the light fixtures out. As you'll see, I just used, like, the basic uh, base game, uh, like light that i always use because it's really bright but um i did end up going back um and switching everything out um i used a lot of lights that came with generations because generations has a really has a lot of um really nice items also especially like um like uh old like 70s retro looking I items like it has bean bags and lava lamps i didn't use neither one I, like i didn't use bean bags or lava lamps in this build which i kind of wish i would have done that and also the kitchen floor I'm so glad I finally got to use that <laughs> that tile <laughs> that tile for the kitchen floor because otherwise I probably would have never really used it. Um, moving on, this is the living room. This living room was originally going to be like a bedroom, but I felt like it made more sense to be a living room because it's kind of U-shaped and it has like a bathroom that leads into it. And I mean, it would have worked as a bedroom. Like you could definitely make it a bedroom if you want to. But I was like, you know, this house needs a living room. Um, so that's what I did. I used mushroom wallpaper. <laughs> yes mushrooms on the wall like it's that to me that's just very 70s anyway and i was gonna make it orange um but i was like no let's go for this cool green and i wanted to use like some carpet because of course this is an old cabin so carpet like carpet and hardwood and wood paneling is like and, and wallpaper that's like the basics <laughs> for design um or at least style for back then and then i also used that really retro um record player which came with generations i was going to use an another one but i kind of like the one from generations a little bit more so i used that one and i used like those those trees that came with the base game um to me those just kind of help fit with the 70s vibe i didn't recolor the couch to make it orange because i felt like we needed a pop of a pop of a different color like the whole room was just being really green and teal and blue so i was like you know we need a pop of something so i chose orange and i also used the matching chairs that came with um the mid-century stuff uh from the store yeah i used a lot of like store content if you couldn't tell store content expand like i did I, I didn't hold back with this okay if i saw it and i thought it looked nice it's probably in the bill <laughs> um yeah so i did uh recolor them to make them a little bit more um a little bit more green like a little it was green but more like a lime green teal ish kind of color i kind of wanted it to stand out against the wall um and then i it did end up putting a carpet that i didn't change <laughs> that i had a little issue with trying to like make it work so originally i had that carpet and i didn't like it because it was too big so i put another carpet on top of it and i was trying to like use the creative style tool to make it look like to you know drag the style on it but it wouldn't work so <laughs> i had to like move the entire carpet it, yeah <laughs> um and you'll see that i did use a painting with a frog on i think that's a toad with the toad on it from supernatural i wanted it to go in this room originally but i was like eh, i didn't like how it looked like yeah like it kind of looked out of place i think that's a frog it's not a toad i think that's a frog let me know if i'm wrong but it kind of felt out of place downstairs and then i moved into another room and i moved into another room but it did end up staying into the um it did end up staying in the kids' room, um, so I found a use for it after all. And then I also put some nice curtains up with blinds because, listen, blinds and curtains kind of go together anyway in terms of real life. But I don't, I never do it in The Sims, and I'm glad that I actually did it this time because it, again, it kind of fits with that old style vibe anyway. <laughs> like I'd imagine those curtains have never been taken down. Like they're they're full of so much dust. <laughs> um and this is the bathroom, and I love how this bathroom turned out, y'all. The wood paneling in the bathroom. It takes me back to a time that I didn't like that I didn't exist. <laughs> a time in which I didn't exist. That's what it brings me back to. Like this bathroom is so retro. I love it. Um, I love how it turned out. Um, I spent so much time in this bathroom. Like 
so much time <laughs> was wasted in this bathroom just going through all the different items and trying to figure out like what looked nice with what um you probably can't tell it because i did speed this up but it took me a while <laughs> for the bathroom okay more time than i would like to admit um but in the end, of course it looks nice there like i did say earlier that there is another bathroom upstairs but it's more like a half bathroom so it only has a uh toilet and it has a mirror that's it oh and toilet paper that's it <laughs> uh i couldn't fit a t i couldn't fit a um shower up there because um yeah I, it just was no room and uh originally it wasn't even gonna be a bathroom it just turned out to be a bathroom because i had more space than i knew what to do with it and um you'll see it it's nice like i i use some of that old school wallpaper that i already used it, it, it's a cool vibe <laughs> um but yeah and i also made sure to put a light a wall light in this bathroom because wall lights to me just are very like vintage anyway like i don't know it's just something about wall lights that i'm like yeah that's the that's all like it's been in that house for a while and i also tried to like alt place stuff but i didn't have like i know that like there's that cc item that you can use to like actually like put stuff on like countertops for clutter but i don't have it and i tried to do it like i did it in sims 3 with like moving you know you like you place it on the countertop and you move the countertop and you like try to alt place it back but it doesn't really work in the sims 3 <laughs> like it does in the sims 4 so yeah but luckily the bathroom is 100 percent functional the entire house is functional i did place test this play test this after i finished building it so everything should function normally everything should work um if you have any issues let me know um i will have this down i will have this available for download um i'll leave the link like i always do um but yeah so moving on to the upstairs the upstairs i kind of use the same color scheme from the rails outside and like for everything on the inside the windows um yeah windows i think the windows have the same color, sch color scheme but anyway the railings the um the stairs i ended up changing the color of the stairs because i realized like when i was finished with the build i was like the stairs are a different color like <laughs> it's a different color from the railing so i ended up fixing that um i didn't know what i wanted to do with this upstairs i never really know what i wanted to do with upstairs anyway because it's just to me like a bunch of empty space so i ended up putting like a bookcase um and i ended up putting like those two wicker chairs that came with supernatural again supernatural came through <laughs> it came through again um and you missed it but the, uh, you may have missed it but that was the, the frog painting I, I i finally put it in the kids room um it, it found a home <laughs> but yeah so i did use the wicker chairs and i just changed the color up a bit to make it stand out a little bit more because again the house is super brown okay it was it, this, this house was built in the 70s it's gonna be wood everywhere wood paneling browns greens i kind of wanted to go with greens because i don't think a lot of gaps i think it'll color green anyway because like nature trees and stuff so that's what i went with um i did end up moving that bookcase because um it doesn't work at an angle and i was just tempted to leave it that way because it looks nice in terms of like you know style but i kind of wanted this house to be as functional as possible so i ended up moving it um just you know just rotated it a bit unfortunately as you'll see a little bit in the video well you won't see it because i think i turned i cut that part out but the master suite bedroom <laughs> let's talk about it okay so one i love how it looks you know that's just it but two um yeah sims can sims can can get on neither side um they, they can't i tried to change in the beds it, it just doesn't work and if this was a sims 4 you know you could have two sims getting a bed but in sims 3 sims you know they, i guess they need more space to get in and out of it so i had to unfortunately move the bed um to one side of the wall i think i put it on the right side of the wall um and i put a nightstand beside it so that kind of hurts family gameplay unless you have like a maybe like a single parent or something or you just have one sim i don't know i mean it's a two bedroom house you can do whatever you want okay you can make three bedrooms if you wanted to but um yeah so i just wanted to let you know in case you downloaded this house he was like wait a minute why can't you know what's going on here i just i just moved the bed over because otherwise your sim wouldn't be able to use it and i could have put a single bed but i kind of wanted this to be like a you know master bedroom um so yeah <laughs> and then i put like a nice dresser and yeah that's pretty much it for the room and then of course the kids room i didn't have like a particular kid in mind when i just made it um i wanted to put i wanted it to be a nursery at first um but the i couldn't figure like i wanted it to be a nursery like and a kid's room so i wanted to have like a like a crib and a bed but you know the room was just too small and even with move objects on it still wouldn't fit so i ended up just making it to over like a regular kid's room or teen's room it could literally just be whatever you wanted it to be if you if wanted it to be a home office take the bed out <laughs> um 
and I just put like a uh, teddy bear in the corner and a guitar. So, you know, some skill building, skill building items. Um, I think that may be like the only skill building item except for like bookcases. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Either way. <laughs> oh, no, that's a grill. You can raise your cooking skill. And then this is stove downstairs. So, yeah, there you go. Skill building. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it for this build. You will see a little bit later in the video. I did some nice landscaping. It just further gives me that fall aesthetic that I love so much. Um, and I just think this whole build just turned out really, really great. And I love how it looks. And hopefully you will, too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below, um, subscribe, make sure you have your hit the bell icon so you make sure that your notifications are turned on. Follow me on Twitch because I am getting back into like streaming on Twitch and um, I'm really liking it. Like it's a cool vibe on Twitch. Like if you ever wanted to like just, just chill and hang out, even if you don't say anything, you could just watch, you know, check me out on Twitch. It's, it's, it's a fun time. <laughs> But that is all I have, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.